Next problem. Evaluate integral log x whole square by x dx. Now, let us solve this problem. So, i is equal to integral log x whole square into 1 by x dx write down. See, if you say log x is equal to something t, what is the derivative of t? That will be 1 by x. So, log x derivative is 1 by x. So, that means if you say log x is equal to f of x, this will be f dash x into dx. So, that means here put log x is equal to t that implies dt is equal to 1 by x dx. So, this is equal to integral t square this becomes dt this is t cube by 3. So, t stands for log x. So, 1 by 3 log x whole cube plus constant of integration. Now, let us go to the sixth problem. Sixth problem. What is the sixth problem? Evaluate integral e power tan inverse x by 1 plus x square dx. Only the, in this kind of problems you might have observed here only just we have to arrange the functions in such a way that function and their derivatives. So, now here solution i is equal to integral this is e power tan inverse x into 1 by 1 plus x square dx. So, now tan inverse x derivative is 1 by 1 plus x square. So, now let us put this tan inverse x is equal to say t. Now, dt by dx is equal to we know 1 by 1 plus x square. What is dt? Now, 1 by 1 plus x square into dx. So, dt becomes 1 by 1 plus x square into dx. Now, this is replaced by t, this will be replaced by dt integral e power t dt. Integral e power t dt means e power t. What is t? t stands for tan inverse x. So, this equal to e power tan inverse x plus constant of integration. Now, let us move to the next problem. Next problem is seventh one. Evaluate integral sin of tan inverse x by 1 plus x square dx. Okay, let us do it. Here i equals to integral this can be written sin of tan inverse x into 1 by 1 plus x square dx. Just like previous problem, tan inverse x derivative is 1 by 1 plus x square. So, put tan inverse x is equal to t. If you say tan inverse x is equal to t, dt becomes 1 by 1 plus x square dx. Now, this is t, this will be dt integral sin t dt nothing but integral of sin x function that is minus cos x already we know. So, this is equals to this equals to minus cos t where t is the tan inverse x. So, minus cos of tan inverse x plus constant of integration. Next eighth problem. Evaluate integral of 1 by 8 plus 2 x square dx. Okay. This is in the form of 1 by a square plus x square, but x square coefficient is 2. 
So, we have to make x square coefficient unity that is all here in this problem. So, now i is equal to integral 1 by 8 plus 2 x square d x. This 2 we have to take common that becomes 1 by 2 integral 1 by 4 plus x square d x. This 1 by 2 plus 1 by this 4 is nothing but a perfect square that can be written 2 square plus x square d x. We have the standard form result integral 1 by a square plus x square d x is 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus is constant of integration. So, this equals to 1 by 2 multiplied by again 1 by a 1 by 2 tan inverse x by 2. So, this equals to 1 by 4 tan inverse x by 2 plus constant of integration. Now, let us move to the next problem that is ninth problem ninth one integral 3 x square by 1 plus x power d x. Now, just observe in the numerator. So, if you observe in the numerator, you can find their 3 x square. The whose derivative is 3 x square? 3 x square is the derivative of x cube x cube derivative is 3 x square. So, that means just now let us look uh, the actually look through the denominator uh, denominator in the denominator x power 6 we have that x power 6 we can write x cube whole square. So, put x cube is equal to t so that we can crack this problem we can solve this problem. Now, solution i is equal to integral now 1 by 1 plus x cube whole square into 3 x square d x write off. Now, put x cube is equal to t. Now, d t is equal to 3 x square d x. This is integral of 1 by 1 plus t square d t nothing but tan inverse t whereas, t is nothing but x cube. So, tan inverse of x cube plus constant of integration. Now, let us move to the tenth problem. See tenth problem evaluate 2 divided by 25 plus 9 x square d x. In this case also under root take 9 common out. So, solution i is equal to this 2 common and 9 means 3 comes out 3 2 by 3 integral 1 by root of 25 by 9 plus x square d x. This is 2 by 3 integral 1 by root over 5 by 3 whole square plus x square d x. Now, how does it appear? It is a standard form. What is the standard form? Integral 1 by this will be up to this one a square plus x square d x. We have that is sin h inverse x by a plus constant of integration. This is a formula. Now, using this formula here we can write 2 by 3 sin h inverse x x by 5 by 3. So, now 2 by 3 sin h inverse 3 x by 5 plus constant of integration. 